circulatory system. So if you imagine a water bottle that's like halfway filled with water and you shake it up and you see all that water sloshing around, that's like their circulatory system. They do not have blood vessels, they don't have capillaries, they don't have arteries or veins to encapsulate their blood. It sloshes around in their body, like you typically do. Or with the ventral side up, we'd either have to dissect our squid like this or like this. Is that going to work? So when I lay them onto the trays, we're going to lay them with the siphon side up. And for today, we are going to call that the ventral side. All right. I don't oh, I don't like to see it. That's me. That, that is so weird. Yeah, it's like black. Oh, that is like. Oh, that is like. Oh, that's amazing. Can I put your finger so they can see? That's so weird. I feel it. I'm gonna make a scrap of it later. If you cut this way, with a pointy edge, you're going to rip up the organs. Side. Inch. It's so tough. It's 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 tough. Some sure. diagrams of squid that have been opened up are going to be coming around. Once you've got it all the way opened up and the flaps of the mantle are opened up so you're just looking at the insides, see if you can compare the diagrams and figure out whether your squid is male or female. It will be very obvious. There are no secrets in squid. These are wonderful color photographs from a dissection that was done by someone, not us. They're labeled. It should be very easy to tell. So if you look for it, yeah, those little white things, the nidamental glands, those are what holds the eggs before the squid is ready to wow. lay them. Yours are just little. I don't know. Did you get it? We don't want to break it. It's very fast. Okay? Just be careful. Here, let's snip it a little bit more. Yeah. I'm trying to see. It's already open. You gotta be able to grab it and pull it out. Can you grab it? With these gloves. It's yeah, it makes it hard. Yeah, try cutting it one more time. Maybe it would be easier if you just cut it. Yeah, so this is nice and slick. More for my sake. Yes. So this is the pen, huh? Yeah. So well, it looks like plastic. It looks like a real plastic bag. It looks like he swallowed it. And then dip it in the ink. Look at that. Yeah. You drafted your pen. You can take the sharp point of your scissors and very carefully puncture a very small hole in your ink sac so that you can dip the tip of your pen in and you can use it to write along the mantle yeah. that's been exposed. Mm -hmm. No, not oh, yet. It's, 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 out. it's not coming out. Oh, really? I need it. <laughs> I'm gonna try and cut it just a little bit more, All right. just to see if we can get the rest. So of once that. everyone's gotten a chance to write a little bit with the ink, I want you to set everything down in the dissecting pan. Hey guys, so I just got back from a long day at the Natural Science Museum. Um, the funnest part about the squid dissection, I would have to say, was when we got what they call the pen. We got to pull that out of the squid and we got to poke the ink sac and then write with it, like the actual ink from the squid. So I actually thought that the squid dissection was such a great experience, um, I decided to sign up for the frog dissection Hi. for um, next month. And you guys will actually get to see that um, in a later video. I hope you guys have a great day and a great week. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you later.